Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Nale channel. This is the book which we are going to discuss today. The book name is The Winning Manager. Six practices every manager needs to succeed. And this is written by John and Ken Willick. A wonderful book. And uh, I'm going to discuss the chapter 2 in this one. And let me read it out the title itself. The title itself are so intriguing. And the first, there are six titles to it. Let me quickly read it out for you. Chapter number one. Set goal all the time. Chapter number two. Focus on the process, not a plan. That is what we are going to discuss and dwell in detail in this very video. Coach the right people. Chapter three. Chapter four is serve the right customer. Chapter five is empower your entire team. Chapter six, the last chapter, is do the right things right. So let me go back to the second chapter. The chapter name is focus on the process, not a plan. And the quintessence of this para, of this chapter, the author says that you should have a plan. And plan, the author is not underestimating the plan. The plan has to be customizable, tailor-made and we should also incorporate all the 4C and uh, risk elements and all that. For, uh, foreseeable risk and all that we need to incorporate it. Have a mitigation plan. That is the quintessence essence of this chapter. And it has got given many stories, real-time stories. I am going to quote three wonderful stories for you. And the story number one mentioned in page number 44, it says that the pilot story, one of us is a pilot and some of our best friends are even pilots. One of the things we all have in common is our love for planning process. And it is the process itself more than the actual plan that is more compelling further it goes and it says in the training to become a pilot there are many technical challenges to master there are many technical challenges to go through right you must be able to focus the weather you need to you need to master and read an aviation map navigate using the electronic ads or gadgets and master the plan control all in all environment of moving air changing weather others nearby air plan you must be aware of fully aware of it perhaps the most important very most important however it is the ability to fly ability to fly and land safely when something goes wrong your life as a pilot and life of the others depend upon it and it, it says furthermore, it says that for example, one of our flight, we had an apparent fire in the instrument panel when we were thousand of feet above the ground. Right? A thin haze first started to seep out of the panel, followed by an increasing heavy flow of acrid smelling smoke. So the first fire was there next one is smelling came in so these two got associated and then what happened so how they tackle it a fire of any kind in an airplane is not a preferred activity very interesting word preferred activity is being used it it uh, refers that preferred meaning like it is we don't sometime it bound to happen but it is not preferable right we don't prefer that every time it this event can happen right so and then it says uh, so we need to, to tackle this quickly and effectively right time is important time to respond is important and effectively also is important firstly uh, we shut down the airplane electrical system and including our instrument and radios though this may seem counter intuitive and the distinctive acrid smell of the smoke indicated the fire was electrical in nature and so turning off the electrical system was the logical means of attempting to terminate the fire 
to put down the fire right so this is uh, again it says that so these are all the thing you should incorporate in the plan your plan should not be just a to-do list it should also have a plan in the exceptional cases how do you handle when the risk creep in how do you handle that is what the author wanted to portray from this very lesson let's go back to the uh, now we talked about airplane now let's go to the uh, land now right the second story the second story it is given in page number 49 it says for the boat captain so very important things are considerably different why considerably different because after only a short time on the water nothing goes according to the plan and the sea are ex unexpectedly heavy the weather get uh, you know turbulent and uh, detroited and the boat in the middle of potentially disastrous situation and uh, because of the strong wind and so on and so forth so what we need to have is a, a good captain boat captain must be must acquire must be aware of all the situations and incorporate in the plan so that so we can tackle those things that's what it says and while attempting to determine his position and heading and he he refers to boatman the the boat captain and he simultaneously attempt to determine how to save his boat and passenger this is not a fun day right so this in this one so and further it goes on in these next two things again it says let's go back to our sailboat uh, captain example and uh, it, it, the title is identifying the right information the one we knew how to plan to find out a useful analogy for identifying the right information for a business planning process our captain knew that before he took to the sea he should collect the information about tides, weather, sea lands, crew availability and so on. Only when we had all the interrelated information, could he could probably read the destination safely and uh, he, he need to also get the strategies to get incorporated in the plan. That's what the second story it talks about. The final story, again, once again, very interesting one. Uh, and it is mentioned in page number 69 a client story it says a client story one of our client the owner of an engineering company took all his top manager to an half site location for some team building exercises like team outing team building exercises one of the exercises was to build a bridge or a rewind using the material scattered in the wood the whatever the material wood material is there from there we need to make a bridge that what the activity each person was given a card this is no interesting and with the rule pertaining to the customs construction these rules impose very specific requirement and constraint on how the material way to be handled and used to complicate things further additional rules were imposed incorporated as the team progress in its activities and finally what happened to long story short it says the group uh, the entire people the group perform fabulously flawlessly they build a perfect bridge but the important lesson they took home articulated solely by them was that they needed to put their passion for perfection and now with that result effective planning process their planning took longer than the bridge itself bridge building itself so in this uh, uh, the author says that the quintessence of this one the second chapter uh, what it says is you need to have a plan no doubt about it the plan should also it should not be tick in the you know tick in the bar but it should also have a very clear detail action plan when things go exceptionally when things go wrong or how do you handle the exceptional cases and different scenarios and all that those things should incorporate it and that and this the last thing it says that the plan has to be tailor-made every time it has to be flexible changeable and all that 
today you have a five actions and tomorrow there is another business needs and then the five became seven and then you need to go with that right so that is what these this book the second chapter all it has to say so please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful 